Alrighty, and welcome back to part 12. Final Fantasy The Wrong Way. Lastly, we started moving along the, th the Thunder Plains. We got our butt kicked in by a cactar, and we had some hard time silencing some elementals. So now we're in Rin's travel agency. He seems to have these things all over the world. And we're just gonna move right on, right along. We got a couple cutscenes to do, and then we're gonna be moving on our way towards the uh, Makalania Temple, which is where uh, Maester, Maester Seymour has left for. Nothing really. I I just uh, um uh, 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 I I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have uh, come in. Uh, 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 hey, wasn't that that Jisco uh, Guado guy? Fear is his will. It says, take care of my son. Huh. His son? Seymour? Well, I know one way to take care of him. It's the correct way. I'm sorry. Huh? You have the option right now to snag the sphere. You should do it. What do you think you're up to? Yuna, Yuna was acting funny. Yeah, so, so. yeah. She'll tell us when she's ready, so hold your chocobos till then. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Save the game, we avoid talking to Yuna because that would be awkward. And let's get back out on the Thunderplane. It's not stopping, is it? She's not going to move. It's not stopping, is it? Don't tell me you were hoping it would. Ah! Fine, stay here. All right already. But you didn't have to say it like that, you know. You could be more comforting or something. You know, try to cheer me up. You just don't get me at all, do you? Hey, are you listening? Very surprised that that Maki now still works in the rain. Hey, look, lightning shield. Come on, there we go. I'm gonna equip that to Titus because lightning proof is a really nice thing to have here. Really uh, awesome that it was on the floor just right there for no reason. Yeah, we got nothing for him. He's fine. Sleep proof is okay. It's better than what she has, which is nothing. She has absolutely nothing. 10%. And fire word, I guess. It doesn't really change much. She's not gonna have any gear for a little while. Katana's the same. Stone ward would be nice. Alright, let's move along.
Right, so we've got a safe sphere about halfway through. Aw. There is a shining cactar statue, and I still wanted to go press square on it. Ah, uh, focus. I need to get uh, Lulu in a little bit quicker. I'm gonna switch in Kamari. Throw out the uh, null shock to make sure we're not taking the damage. Where are we going? And the reason I hasted Lulu is because I want to try to silence one of these. I'm gonna... It'll also help me kill them faster. Alright, so the silence is out. We're only gonna need to worry about one attack a turn. And... Since she's now the fastest person in our party, we're just gonna start working the silence one down. Switch out to Orin. And we're just gonna get it done as quickly as possible. I can't really be skipping these fights anymore. I really need the experience points at this point. Walk up to do the damage. Okay. One down. Alright. Go steal. With the risk of you getting dunked by lightning. Okay, we're good. Switch back in Orin. As you wish. Actually, Lulu would be better because of the times two speed. Not times two, but just speed. allows it to go a little bit faster. Everyone's had a turn. Okay, just making sure everyone has a turn so that way we can equally get that distribution of EXP. Can't let anyone fall behind. I'm gonna have. I can't just remand this game, especially with everyone being in wrong roles. I'm going to definitely need to make sure that I keep everyone up to date with each other. I'm... I have this dreaded feeling that I'm gonna have to be farming in the Calm Lands. A little bit. Thankfully, the Calm Lands uh, monsters have a lot of fantastic uh, experience. So, it, it'll be worth it. And it shouldn't take too long, and if I find that it might take a little long, I will just, you know, cut it myself. And just maybe make a time lapse or something of it, so that way you guys don't have to watch over it. Because it's, it's kind of boring to watch someone repeatedly kill the same things over and over again. Because they're a bit behind. I might even just not do it. Since Kamari had to heal people, it'd be nice to just lance it back that mana. He's gonna heal himself. Oh, wow. He decided not to. That's... odd. I killed that thing with one additional health left. That makes me happy. Okay, so he still hits harder on non-elemental or armored enemies with his sword. Good to know for now. Just barely, though. Hopefully in a few levels. Hopefully in a few levels we'll be able to get him the next tier of magic. Really should have had it a lot earlier. But, again... 15 levels to get into where you... Oh... See, this is problems. The one on the right is very, very dangerous. Th those ones on the left are also very, very dangerous. Okay. That's the problem right there. We're gonna probably have to get confused. Oh, thank you for not getting confused on... Why am I bringing you... No, she knows you sooner, too. Light shine strong, our woe be gone. Except since I have never used it on her, she's gonna be saying her lines. Thank you for dodging that. 
Don't confuse Waka. Waka needs to knock this thing down. You go bring in Lulu because this thing needs dark. I need it to not be hitting me. Oh, that's bad. Uh, I'm gonna go armor break it. Not armor break it. I don't have armor break yet. You will hurt no one. Power break will help us a little bit. That would have been a dead Lulu. Ah. All right. It doesn't have a ton of health. 3,000 isn't that bad. Dodge. Going to bring in Kamari. He also has a piercing weapon and sensor. So you can see how much damage we're really putting down on this. Which isn't a lot. Oh man. I don't have Dark Buster, so I can't ensure that I'm going to have one turn of uh, guaranteed Dark. But now we've got three, so we should be good. Thankfully, I, you know, gave them the entire party buff. Sorry, not party buff. I, I attack broke him, or else I would have had a lot of problems right there. I'll bring Orn back in since he has a piercing weapon. Yuna did a thing. Kamari did a thing. Titus has not done a thing. Bring back in Kamari. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm going to backtrack to the safe sphere. So, mm, it's not really worth it. Kamari knows Lancet and can heal. We're good. But yeah, two levels right there. Two free levels just for beating him up. No overkills or anything. So much experience for those things. They are very dangerous, though. Start with Orin. Which way is Orin needs to go? Yeah, he needs to go this way. Woohoo! Orin now doesn't have the worst magic. Ah, uh, he doesn't have base magic anymore. He's got seven. whoop de doo This is the correct way to go, if I recall. That way it goes into black magic, and I don't really want to make Kamari be an... I don't need a third mage. There's Prey, which allows me to get some very mild amounts of health back passively for free as like a skill much like flee it does not cost me any abilities to do but it can help us get out of a sticky situation just a little bit of heal here and there sadly you can't use it outside of combat which would be really nice because if it's a, a heal that if it's a heal that you can use without spending mana for and you could use it outside of combat you could just infinitely heal yourself for free as soon as you get out of combat once you got it hey okay. Miku's got a little bit of defense so she shouldn't pop too hard we're gonna forgo going down the extra mana and a little bit of mana defense magic defense over there because I really need Titus to get these second tier magics like absolutely imperative for him to get these uh, tier 2 magic. Because he does such little damage. And once I get past these nodes... Ooh, drain. Now that's that's Waka's grid. So he's going to get that. And then it's going to still be a while before he gets another magic up. Like, it's all the way down here. And he'll get former magic, which will put him still below uh, Lulu's magic pool. Gonna get our tanky ball thrower a little bit more health. Yuna's gonna... Ooh, is that delay attack? Please tell me that's delay. Alright, so Yuna has now become very, very useful. 
not a lot of the things in this game that aren't bosses are immune to delay. Delay is a status that just pushes your turn back. Alright. Ah, I wasn't paying attention. I was about to say something. Wait, we're going to be going into this underpass for a non-skippable cutscene. Attack. Bring it on! I'm gonna power break him instead of attempting a secondary dark attack. Because if he did Reaper right now, I'd have a lot of problems and I'd probably lose. Eh, uh, well, it was. It's Orin and Waka, he'd be fine. But I, I just don't want to take the damage where I can. Uh, when I can just let it cycle one turn. If I can guarantee survival over a chance to apply the debuff, it's much better to guarantee <laughs> survival. Now we're gonna. We got two more dark attacks with Waka. He has really, really, really low base mana. Alright, this isn't working. Bring in Kamari. We're gonna hit him once. We're gonna bring in Yuna. We're gonna delay him. May do 15 damage, but gave us all our turn again. get another Lulu turn. Not really worth it. So delay attack is pretty okay, but delay buster does a lot, lot more. So I'm going to use spray just to show what it does. It's a small heal. Heals for like a hundred and something. It's good for just a slight touch up. Maybe one of these days I'll also land a dark attack. This thing is resistant to it, but dark buster almost has a 100% chance of landing on it. I haven't used Riku. It's another person that could possibly get one-shotted from this thing. Alright. So, using an item is quicker than... than using life. And I've, I bought all the Phoenix Downs. So, I might as well use them. Oops. One too far. Alright, let's see. I want to heal her. Come on, I can take the damage. At this point, it's not worth continuing, continuously trying to dark it when I could just, you know, finish it off and take the hit. Power Break is much, much, much more effective here. No, 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 Kamara needs to be here. Get your mana back, buddy. It's only one, but it's it's a thing. It'll help. He's gonna cure himself up. No one in this party should be one shot with the power breakout. Ah, oh, so close. Yep. We're all good. Moving along. Another level for almost everyone. Alright. And here we are. Cutscenes. Everyone. Wait. What's up? I have something to tell you. Here? We're almost out of here! Let's go! I have to say it now. Over there.
Somehow, my bad feelings always come true. I've decided to marry. I thought so. But, but why? Why'd you change your mind? For Spira's future, and Yevon's unity. I thought it would be the best thing to do. That's not good enough. Wait, is it? Is it because of Lord Jiskel? Hey, that's fear! Show me. I can't. I must speak to Maester Seymour first. I truly am sorry, but... This is... it is a personal matter. You're kidding, huh? As you wish. I'm sorry. Just one thing. Uh, I won't quit my pilgrimage. Then it is fine. Wait a minute, Oren. You don't care? I mean, you're not gonna stop her? No, I'm not. As long as she is willing to face sin, all else is her concern. That is a summoner's privilege, as long as she journeys. But that's... Uh, uh... Yuna, just one question. Can't you just talk to Maester Seymour? You got to marry him? Don't know. But I think it is the right thing to do. Okay, I guess. Uni! Quiet! I wish we could help somehow, some way. It's okay. I'll be fine. She says I'm sorry. He says it's fine. She's willing to face sin. She's privileged. I didn't understand. But somehow, I felt like I didn't belong. But if I didn't belong with them, I'd be stuck in Spira, alone. And being alone in that place, well, I didn't want to think about it. Next, we're going to Makalania Temple. Hey, Makarena. Talk with Seymour there. We guardians will wait until they're done and plan our next move. Understood. Alright, so. It kind of bothers me that no one freshes the issue that the Lord just goes. Sphere is not Yuna's belonging, and she shouldn't be able to hoard it like that, but... Eh, details. Okay. That. I don't think I'll be able to kill this thing in one hit. Yeah, it's short by, I think, six. Not six. Horn's not beginning any uh, strength ups either. But we got time to switch people around now. Yeah, it's got 200 health. So I really need to be using Titus's overdrive as much as I don't want to. Because it, uh, the more overdrives he uses, the more he gets his next one. He simply... Rip. R.I.P. in peace, old man. Get back up. I'm not done with you yet. I'm gonna delay it. It's not gonna do much, but it will make its next set of turns lower. Whatever it hits. Now dies as well. Leave the old man alone. Wasting all of my mana to revive him. It's okay. Less okay. Riku can't kill it. 
Now there's three things that can be one shot by it. And there they are. We're gonna swap in anyone really. Because I don't wanna use uh I didn't wanna use Orin's turn to revive him. And I didn't want to waste Orange's turn to kill it, because then Kamari wouldn't get anything. So we're going to swap in someone, Farewell. revive, and then swap Orin back in on the next turn. Oh, come on. Abilities, Kamari, he's not going to have a lot of mana anymore. That's okay, we're almost to another save sphere. Alright, so we've done this encounter before. How can I ensure that thing that thing gets knocked out of the sky? I don't have enough mana anymore to power break it. So, I gotta use Orin for that. We're gonna take it safe and dodge out. Alright. Bring Lulu back in. Yeah, I understand that probably using uh, her overtime would help me get through this a little bit quicker, but I'd rather just get it done. This guy should be fine. Right, he's gonna need swapped out. Hasn't. Steel is a very short action. Should be fine. Just gonna heal up Yuna, just in case. And it was worth it. Saved her life right there. I know it's not going to do a lot of damage because it's not piercing. I really don't have a much better alternative right now. He did 100 damage? I don't know if Titus could do 100 damage. Yeah, they're about the same. Titus is a little bit faster in the agility department. All the level ups. Come on, let me through. Ah. Okay, well this fight we can actually do very easily. And the best thing about this, where I may be low in health, like really low in health, but we can keep ourselves up and running a little bit better. I'm gonna try to silence this one. It's kinda hard to see if it, you know, is successful, but we'll watch. Yep, silence is good. So now that we have one silenced, we'll start beating it the other one. The reason why it's so nice to pull Kamari into here is he could lance at it and go from having 13 mana back up to 118. Alright, time to just beat this one down and then we'll we'll start the swap around once we get to Mari's turn. I 
I was hoping for a crit. Yeah. He'll do that to himself. So it's been three turns. We're gonna resilence this guy. Gonna go steal from it. Can never have too many lunar curtains. Really nothing I need her to do. Yeah, it's Lulu's turn to get bunch of Armana back, capping it off. I don't think he... Yeah, he doesn't know Lance it, or else I would use it as well. There's the crit. And we move along. Getting a third level for a few people. That's pretty nice. Yuna. Of course I'm worried about her. What is she thinking? The simplest answer would be, in exchange for agreeing to marry him, she hopes to negotiate with Seymour. Negotiate what? I wonder. What? All by herself? <laughs> She's strong. But Seymour is the better negotiator. Well then, why don't we do something about it? Yuna wants it this way. Huh. I just don't get it. Doesn't she trust us? On the contrary. She doesn't want us caught up in whatever it is she's planning. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. But that makes me worry even more. She could just tell us. That's the way she is. She's naive, serious to a fault, and doesn't ask for help. <laughs> You're probably right. Yuna's easy to read. <laughs> yeah, she is. But hard to guard. Stand by her. Always. Sorry. It's funny how calm I was. Maybe it was because I'd realized that Yuna wasn't marrying Seymour for love. Not really. It was just her duty. Something she had to do before returning to her pilgrimage. That's what I kept telling myself anyway. And well, maybe. I realized that Yuna and I'd never, you know. Yuna, let's go. So, we learned that it's whatever is on those spheres is what she wants to address with Seymour. And thankfully, we're just now learning Tier 2 magic. It's a little late, but better, better than ever. And there's that Dark Buster that would have been so much more useful about 
about one episode ago, two episodes ago. Let's increase Waka's strength tremendously again. Going from 22 to 26 strength is a huge jump. Luck is a really useful ability. Just makes it more likely that I'll get a lucky dodge. And I'll be able to land crits a little bit easier. How much strength is that? Two is not bad. Two strength there is not bad either. But uh, four agility is pretty large. She'll be by far always going to be the fastest thing in my party. Where does haste go? There's slow. Slow is a long way away. I guess it's not too bad if you just prioritize it. Drive, which we'll get from Riku's grid. And that should be Napgill, yep. Alrighty, so if I just go straight for slow, there's Waka's grid. There's definitely Waka's grid. There's slow, Sloga. And then we're going to be looking at probably right about, yep, yeah, there it is. Okay, cool got a long way and it's really interesting that they put delay buster out of the way it is a very very nice skill to have should be yeah there's quick hit quick hit is a very important skill and it is the last thing that titus's grid always learns in both standard and international it's basically a standard auto attack except it gives you a much quicker uh reuse time on it I grab the extractability as well for Orin. Always seem to be using it. And now Orin can pilfer things with his grubby little hands. We've got the steal and use, which will be pretty useful. Some more mana, and four increased to magic, which is, again, it's the magical damage stat going up by four is a huge increase. I'm gonna save again. And that'll be it for this episode. Uh, Makalania fo Forest is huge. It takes a long while. So we're going to be covering all of that in the next episode. So thank you all for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, have a fantastic day.